How exciting to have made such a fun movie, Carrie. It is. Yeah, uh, I guess all I guess all movies are fun though, huh? In a different well, way. Well, not like this one. You know, uh, we got to do shoot guns and get handcuffed <laughs> and tortured by the black torture robot. Mm -hmm. and... uh, when I was a little girl. I used to go every Saturday to see this kind of thing and yes. wonder what was going to happen next week. Now, when you were a little girl, you didn't do that. Is it oh. still exciting for you? Well, this is, I think, bringing back all those Saturday afternoon serials and things like mm -hmm. that. I missed all of it, so now I'm getting a chance to mm -hmm. see it myself. You know, I have not heard one person on this junket say they did not enjoy Star Wars to the fullest. Everybody, all ages from everywhere, likes it. Oh, well, it's hard not to enjoy it. It's mm -hmm. got everything in it, westerns, mm -hmm. Robin Hood, Wizard of Oz, it's got all that, a space yeah. fantasy. Yeah, a lot of Wizard of Oz. Yeah, I think. except it's I really... didn't get the red slippers. <laughs> I got <laughs> no, hairy earphones had... instead. <laughs> and almost a carpet and all that kind yes. of beautiful line, beautiful line about the carpet. Well, I'll it. tell George. <laughs> I loved it, <laughs> loved it. Uh, when you do, well, like shampoo, it's possible to study a character. What do you do for a fantasy like this as far as studying? Cross your fingers. There's really, <laughs> there's no way of uh, preparing for science fiction dialogue. You just, uh, you know, I placed information vital of the survival of the rebellion to the memory systems of the SAR-2 unit. You just hope it gets out of your mouth <laughs> properly. But you say it with such dreadful seriousness. Well, it's serious business. If you played it for comedy, I don't think the film would have been as effective if, if all of us had done it sort of comic book style. Mm -hmm. Like we were aware that it was a comic But comic book. books were very serious business for those yes. who read them, and I guess still do, too. Although they deal with a, a light and fanciful subject, perhaps. They're still kind of serious. Well, yeah, yeah. That's, it's the same situation with this, but it's diff a it's different thing to read it and actually mm -hmm. have to say those words, you know. Well, yeah, I suppose, because it's not exactly your normal conversation piece, is it? No, although I was, things like, I recognized your foul stench when you were brought on board. I grew up <laughs> saying things like that. Did you now? <laughs> no. <laughs> I wish I had. It would have been easier to do. Oh, and the beautiful, wide-eyed tilting-headed girl that we saw it was you, and you played it so well. So oh, thank well. you. So well. Did this uh, sort of role ever come to your mind when you thought about being an actress? No, I don't think I could have ever envisioned any of this. You know, mm -hmm. even when you read the script itself, you see all of it written down, a huge spaceship goes mm -hmm. screaming across the yeah. screen. You can't imagine that kind of thing. The special effects in this, obviously this is a dumb thing to say, but everybody will anyway. The special effects are absolutely marvelous. Oh, they're incredible. Mm -hmm. I Listen, I, I, the first time I saw it was in the theater. I had no idea they were going to be as overwhelming as they were. Do you catch yourself saying, golly, did I really do that when you're like holding back the walls and all of these good things? Well, yeah, and being there and seeing it is, is definitely a different experience altogether. It's a very energy-filled film for all of you, I'm sure. Oh. Yeah, 9 o'clock in the morning with the hallways exploding. It was hard to muster some energy then, but uh, we got used to it. So used to it, we thought we were going to have to come back to the States with little charges for the first couple of days and set them around the house and blow them up on the way to the kitchen for breakfast. And you wondered where all... The, the silence was deafening, almost, when you, yes, when you quit hearing it, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this is, I think, one of the charms of this movie is that the minute you're out of one thing, you're into another. There's none of this... There's no rest for and, us. And waiting. There's always survive. some TIE fighters around the corner, a Darth Vader coming in with his laser sword. Mm -hmm. Are we going to have Son of Star Wars or Star Abbott Wars 2 or, or Star Wars, <laughs> or whatever. Beneath Star yeah. Wars? Well, we're signed for uh, two more sequels, but I don't think they'll make two. I think that, or they'd make two at the same time. They haven't really told me. If you find out, tell me. I heard they would shoot them in the tropics, you know, like the fourth moon of Yavin, which is where this film is. So I'll be around with insects and snakes and... Oh, joy. is this one of the joys of the glamour of being a the star? The glamour of mosquito bites, <laughs> oh. shuffle on everything, you know. Tunisia must have been fun. I didn't get to go. Oh. I was on... Well, there that's was right, because you weren't there yet. The two robots and... Uh, mm -hmm. Mark and Sir Alec got to go. I wanted to go and just hang around. Shoot, all the fellas get all the fun. That's right. Yeah. I'm going to insist that I get to have some <laughs> exteriors. E equal and... sand time. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But shooting, uh, you know, we've talked in a, oh, well, a movie like Shampoo where you shoot it out of sequence, that it's a little different. Um, well, in this case, it was hard one? to remember what had just happened. Mm -hmm. Although sometimes 
it wasn't that difficult. You know, when you're actually in the garbage room, you don't yeah. have to remember that you had just been up in the hallway mm. being blown up. Well, because this is a series of, uh, almost a series of episodes rather than a All continual flow yeah. type thing. But how fun, Carrie. <laughs> well, I'm going to be waiting for the time you go to the tropics with Star Wars Revisited, or what are we going to call it? Abbott and Costello meet Star, Star Wars. Wars. <laughs> I like the idea better. Carrie, you're a delight. Oh, thank you. I'd like to adopt you. You think I could? I'll ask my mother. I think she's probably <laughs> ready for a rest now. Yeah. Mamas are like that. Yes, they are, Carrie. Come see us in Oklahoma. Okay, I will. Thank you. Action. Thank you.